Hello everybody, Good buddy Q here, here with more shambles! Last we left off, we got to go down the hallway and check in on everybody and see how miserable they are. If this doesn't end in a strike, I'm gonna strike. I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. What is this way? Oh! This way. Oh, hey guys! <sighs> oh, I love your haircut! Damn it. How come these idiots keep poking holes in their costumes? Yeah, I know. It doesn't make it cool to... Uh, hey. Uh, need something? Sound like you were complaining about something. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing besides the fact that I'm wearing a bunch of animals! It's hard not to rip your pants every time you move. Can't be that bad. It is that bad. Look. Jesus! Almost every one of these has a rip in them! I know. Huh. Maybe you didn't construct them correctly. No, no. Not possible. I'm Poland, the greatest country in the world, master designer of clothing garments, renaissance man, gold winner in football in the 1972 Olympics. <sighs> uh, why did you use this material? It's so thin and... I is this polyester? It's whatever sucky fabric Prussia bought. The poor fuckers have to wear these costumes. They must have nipple chafing like you'd never even begin to comprehend. I throw up if I have to make anything like this with this kind of fabric. <laughs> <sighs> but I manage even with the merse materials. Do you know why? Because I'm the fucking best. His pollen is the best in the world. Oh, did I mention that we won gold in football? It. No, it was Poland, idiot. Well, it's not my fault you're not aware of our nation's great accomplishments. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to Asklop. Uh, Asklop? Yeah, he's the new guy. He showed up around the time I started working double overtime shifts. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, his eyes are so fucking swollen. What a coincidence that Prussia hired another costume guy right when I started to crack under the pressure. And he's a Pole, too. I guess Prussia only knows that Polish ingenuity gets his job done. <laughs> that was a funny joke, but I have a better one. What's black and white news? What's black, white newspaper? Read all over. What do you mean you don't get it? It's a good joke. I'm gonna go. I need to call a priest. <laughs> Is it blood? Yes. Oh, wow! Hey, hey, hey! Little uh, Italy boy! Give me a hug. What? See that picked up custom over there? Yeah. Smell it. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, God! Uh. <laughs> I know, right? <coughs> yeah, I'm starting to think that Prussia didn't put any room for the budget for laundering or shit. That's like three weeks worth of turkey grease right there. <laughs> I had a complaint or something. <laughs> Maybe I should wash in the puddle outside. Jesus Christ, I can't really keep breathe. Yeah, get ass or something? <coughs> okay, maybe you should go outside and get some air. Maybe take a hit from your inhaler. Eh? What the fuck? How can the but there's a sign's not fucking bad? Hey, <laughs> thanks to my high testosterone levels. Well, so I've eaten nothing but fast food and vending machine snacks for pretty much the entirety of this production. That explains the fermented cheese and onion sweats. Well, I thought you had standards. Why would a guy that actually cares about quality for willing to eat American fast food? Hmm. Every time we have to, we're filling the scene because Prussia didn't like what we did. I just feel like Spud will urge to devour some kind of unholy food that would make America himself cringe. <laughs> Pretty weird, right? Eh, lots of people use food as a coping mechanism. Coping mechanism? Yeah, something you do when your stress is upset to take your mind off of it. Back in the day, when I was upset, I'd just get smashed on Rocky and get in the bar fight. Then, I'd feel better. No, why? For some reason, that stopped working. Maybe you're just getting old. Can't keep up with these crazy party days. Old? Be honest. 
And I, the man who once had the greatest empire in the world ever seen, become an old fat. Let's see. This makes me want to order a new green chili cheeseburger. Well, somehow I broke the old man. I always wanted to make the guy fear me for once. I feel like I should be proud, but I just kind of feel like a dick. Becca, picto actor. Ah, okay. Hey, Cuba. Oh, hey! What's up? Um, but my neck hurts. Oh, right. S sorry about that, Choco Amigo. Sometimes I get a little too into the role. It's fine. Just try not to murder me next time we film. Also, I recommend not attempting to murder anyone else. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I just have a lot of pent up anger. Filming for several months is already bad enough. But having to film while wearing a hot, stinky, fucking amusement park mascot suit? All the while Prussia keeps making us refilm every goddamn scene. Ah! <laughs> shit, not again. You seem pretty pissed. Yeah, I noticed I've been having a lot more violent outbursts since this production started. Huh. Apparently I blacked out the other day and almost killed Hungary. <laughs> uh. Huh? I feel really bad about it. I, I, I don't know what's been coming over me. I've got anger issues, but near murderous violent urges aren't something I can really relate to. Have you tried, I don't know, squeezing a stress ball or hitting a pillow or something? I guess I could not try anything, because at this point I'm tired of becoming too random an alleyway with blood on my hands. That's terrifying. I'm just gonna stay away from Cuba. Maybe he'll return to his cheery not murdering self soon. What's up, Hungry? What you doing? Hello, Miss Hungary. Are you filing your nails? Oh, hello, Romano. Oh, sorry. Did I, did I interrupt something? No, just trying my luck with scratch- Oh, they're scratch-offs. Trying my luck with scratch-offs. Did you buy all of these? Yes. And you intend to scratch them all yourself? Already did. This is my last one. Uh... Haven't won anything yet over the past few months, but statistically speaking, the chance of me winning are really super high now. Oh, damn it. Not to judge you in any way. I will never do that, but... Is, is it a good idea to spend your life savings on scratch-offs? In my eyes, any purse makes me, that makes you feel good makes it worth it. The rush of not knowing if this card will be a winner is super exciting. Does gambling make you feel good? It usually makes me feel like crap afterwards. Oh, the adrenaline wears off eventually when you scratch the last card. Then the post-scratch depression sets in. Like right now. Oh no, oh no, oh baby, no! Do, do you want a hug or something? No. Christ, I think I'm gonna cry. These poor people! My god! What the fuck happened in here? Oh, 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 hi, hello, hi. You okay? Ah, me, fine, I'm not, I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine, fine, fine. You're, you're short circuiting. That's a lot of coffee. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It was probably the coffee I've been drinking. Uh, 10, 20, 10, uh, I don't, don't remember. So, slow down, you're going to cardiac arrest. I can't slow down, city. <laughs> can't slow down, the league. Really oh. I'm trying to construct big way objects with set. Script calls for over a hundred different big way props. Count a hundred. <laughs> Russia really likes things breaking for some reason. Yes, and he expects the best from me and another man that can make it all. Only so much. I wish Sweden could help. Two hands are better than one. Two hands are much better. Two hands would have made several months of prop making so much more bearable. I would have to work overtime. Overtime and be able to sleep in bed instead of this hellish room with these two crying all night. Breathe for God's sake. <laughs> 
<laughs> Christ! Whoop! Break the work! I need to call a therapist for this whole room. Back of Finland Surds reads Set FX Manager. Okay, Thailand, what's up with you? Uh, what's up? Hey, hello! Oh, God. <laughs> How's it going, my friend? Ugh. What's that face for? Hmm? Christ, I can smell the whiskey on your breath! Oh, that. This job's a bit stressful, Roma. It must be. Do you know how. How many dozens of gallons of picto blood I have to make in a day? Uh. A lot. Drink. Do you know what our budget is? A lot? Nothing! No. Oh. Can't even sleep in the hotel. Commute's too far. <laughs> I have to sleep in this room to save time. Sleep for only two hours. Spend all day mixing goop. Oh god. Mm hmm God can't help me now. Drink. So you're getting hammered just to cope with the workload? Wow. <laughs> you're very smart. Christ! Prussia's really gotta fix this shit! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, leave you to your goop. Yeah, I didn't think the pressure would get to that guy. This job must be fucking stressful. Dare I ask? Miss Belarus, are you okay? Quiet down, blockhead. You're railing right into my ear. I'm going to piss. Where'd your hair go? I ate it. What of it? Ah. Are you hurt? Blah, that came out Russian. Are you hurt? I'm the blood and injury FX manager, remember? Uh. Yeah, and I'm trying to create not shitty mixture for the blood. That Prussia bastard didn't even bother to throw in some money in the special effects department. You bought party supply store blood, not actually movie grade shit. I have to mix up a concoction of ingredients to get anything remotely resembling blood. If it's any consolation, it looked realistic when I was on set. I thank you for your pity compliment. But if you don't mind, I'd like to go back to sticking my hands in this congealed mass of red goop. Wait, but before you do that, I, I wanted to say I, I like your haircut. Thanks. I ripped the hair out myself. I knew it. That's a funny joke. Oh, God. I haven't slept longer than three hours for this entire production. Do you know how much fucking time goes into this department? The one like these two, I prefer- I have a preferred substance to- I don't have a preferred substance to abuse. Not the one that's easily obtained, anyways. I've taken compulsory ripping out my hair. I thought it cutting it would hide the fact that the parts are still growing back. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. No lady should have to whip out her own hair unless she has stress. You poor thing! Hell! I should go back to the dressing room to relax before the next shoot. You alright in there, Austria? 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 I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm out. These poor fucking people. Back. Yeah, I, back. Okay. Where's your dressing room? Is it here? Oh yeah, you share yours with Italy's. What do you want, butthead? Just want to see if my brother is stealing an insufferable little shit. I'm gonna slap you if you open your mouth again. I swear to fucking god. 
Who is it? It's me, England. Mind if I come in? I don't mind. Come in. So, I need a bit of help from you, Italy. I know this is going. Get your brows dented, use a rose, water, and a nice toner, invest in a good tanning oil. Those jobs are all the rage. Some people are just born looking different. I uh, wasn't going to ask about any of that. Ah. Shit. I wanted to know how to cry on cue. I might be able to help you with that. But my tummy's grumbling. I'm gonna sandwich before we do anything else. How are you hungry? You ate like three bowls of pasta con bondoro before coming in here. Hey, I'm a growing boy. You're not the growing boy, you're just a fucking glutton. But then, no, we can continue this argument at the craft services table so I can at least resolve my hunger. <sighs> no, you're an idiot because you didn't wake in time for the breakfast buffet because you're too hungover to get up. Oh, God. Is it my fucking fault I want to have some fun while we're at the hotel? There's plenty of ways to have fun that don't involve drinking to excess. I managed to have fun here without getting drunk every night. Maybe take a page from my book? I would, but I wanted to become a riddle with venereal diseases like you. <gasps> Excuse me? You heard what I fucking said. I do not have... And even if I did... At least I have the ability to get a venereal disease from someone instead of being a loveless bastard alone in a hotel room doing shots while listening to- Ugh. I hate to interrupt. An important part of your argument. But you've been yelling at each other for quite a while, and I really need you to help me before we have to get back to filming. Right, right. That help you. <laughs> so, you're having trouble crying on crew. Crying on cue. Oh. Uh, well, to be honest, I can't cry on cue. You can't? Nope, I can't control when I cry. <laughs> not that I actually don't cry that much. I'm genuinely a happy guy. It's hard to push me to the point of crying. I really can't get that worked over with small things. Where? Where are the sandwiches? You see, Crane? Where are those yummy looking sandwiches you made earlier? I'm sorry, Italy. Someone ate them all. <laughs> Jesus, quiet down, Venetiana, you're screaming. Somebody hit those sandwiches! Yeah, I know, but... No, 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 you don't know, you don't know, no shit! I saw them about those sandwiches in there. They were just some cheap white Ben process bologna with that fake cheese crab. They were chicken sandwiches made with pesto and brie and Asiago cheese buns. Tossed it. To perfection. I wanted to make them and instantly fell in love. I know they were good. I had one, but no, I'm <laughs> in my face. You piece of shit. You know what? You probably knew I wanted them and decided to eat them all. Don't accuse me of shit. I've only had one, so everyone else must have eaten the rest. First of all, I get my lines removed. Then I get my food stolen. What's next? Your food? Ugh, fuck, diva. Uh, Italy, wrap up your morning of lost love. I still need help. Oh, right. Well, a good way to learn to cry is to think of something that makes you sad. Like a sad movie or a dead puppy. Your brother stuffing his face with as many sandwiches as possible so you don't have, aren't able to have any! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking leave. Good luck with your thing, England. You're going to need it. I'm out. We could do a petition. Petitions usually don't get a lot of traction, and when they do, they still don't do much. What about an open letter? That would be even less effective. But we have to voice our grievances somehow. What's an effective way to get that point across? We need to strike, obviously. Strike? That isn't that bad of an idea. I'm concerned that the actors won't have food and they'll go hungry. 
That would make our strike even more effective, my dear. If the caterer strikes, then the actors go hungry. If the actors go hungry, the, act the actors underperform. If the actors underperform, management realizes how important your job is. It's genius. How'd you come up with the idea for a strike? That's how I solve most of my problems. So, Lithia and I will go on strike? It sounds simple enough. No, 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 no. A two-person strike won't work. They are power in numbers, so we have to recruit more of the crew to strike with us. We'll need to go around talking to the race of the crew. I know I've heard some of them complaining about Prussia's management as well. So we can find those people and add them to our group. <coughs> oh no! Oh, push yourself, Lithuania. We should get started. The sooner we start this strike, the sooner I can get much needed medical care. I am France now. Poor thing. Strike! Strike! There's five axe bottle body sprays in the bathroom. There's only three people living here. You don't need that much. I can't work under these conditions. Strike! Strike! I can't believe I remembered all that. Oh, he's gone. Crew members! Lend me your ears. Ah, uh, maybe the editor is gone? I doubt it. I think he hasn't left that room in a long time. Hello? It's me, Ukraine. Can you open up, please? I need to talk to you. Oh, it's Estonia! Oh, no! Mon dieu! Oh, zombie! Oh, sorry, I thought you were... dead. Have you gotten any sleep? Your eyes are bloodshot and you look very unrested. Splice, chroma key, phosphate, audio scrubbing, compositing. Estonia! Snap out of it! Shake, shake, shake. Uh, Lithuania, but when, when did you get here? What's wrong with you? I went ghost or something for a minute there. Sorry. I've been editing for 15 hours straight. Marsha only got one editor, or I'm working completely solo. That, and on top of his unrealistic deadlines and slew of visual errors within the scenes they're filming, have turned me into a husk with a man I used to be. I haven't been able to see my wife in three months. You have a wife? Estonia, you don't have a wife. Oh. You poor thing. You sound so overworked and not recognized. I am. My friend, would you be interested in joining a strike against this production? If it's successful, then you will be treated much better than you are now. Absolutely. Anything to be able to work overtime and see my wife and kids again. You don't have kids. Oh, right. I think about it. I might have developed a pattern of maladaptive daydreaming about caused by fabricating memories of a life full of satisfaction and love. So I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I'm an immortal being who can't establish a family or find love. Sounds fun, but we really have to get striking. Meet us outside the gate. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be beginning to making signs and catchy slogans. Here I go. There's one. There you are. Wait. Stop. I've been trying to find you for a while. I have ch some choice words for you, the two of you. Hey, that puke is definitely not mine. There's not enough blood in it. It's not that. I want to complain about your choices in cuisine a few days ago. Please never hire Taco Tuesday here again. Ah, oh, you're the janitor. Makes my job significantly harder. Well, keep that in mind, sorry. I wish I wasn't given this horrific and demeaning job. Why couldn't the janitor be some poor sack for his assistance to horrific smells and too much discipline to be willing to quit? That's you! Exit Germany. <laughs> Thankfully, I think he just ate you. A stout on physician France. Someone should send you an invitation to Mensa. Goodness, someone is cranky. I'm upset because I've been giving a horrible job. I was expecting to make, be making the score in this film. But instead of unclogging toilets and cleaning up the remnants of someone else's lunch. Oh dear. If only there was a way for you to vent your frustrations with the position you're in. Oh, wait, you can. Also, a strongly voted letter. 
No, we're organizing a strike. A strike? Yes, and we'd like you to... You don't have to uh, convince me. I mean... In a way, this is also tying into magical strike, so... There you go. Meet us outside the gate, then we'll begin our demonstration. Away he goes! Ah, the pictos. Unlike the other actors, these are extras. Extras. Scraps. For long souls, forced to the background and only use a cannon for them! I'm sure I'll be able to give an emotional speech to them that will convince them to join our gals. Damn it! Give me back my fucking sandwich! No, I need more shit to bet on virtual blackjack! Hey guys! Your man's giving it down trying to read. Bet you kidding you something, the sandwich is mine! I only bet on one of my fucking kidneys! Guys, you're screaming. Stop it. Your shitty finances aren't my problem. Don't hold my child hostage! I need to sandwich more than you do. You guys, fucking stop! I'll find me some fucking cash and I'll give it back! No goddamn way. I'll get you like a fish, you fucking- Oh god! Mon dieu! Do something! Wait, no, don't leave! Ah, oh, hello. I wonder what weather we're having. Uh, should we stop those three before they kill each other? And leave, we should. Excuse me, Turkey, Cuba, Hungary. Excuse, excuse me, you three. Hey! You three boozles! Huh, I have your attention now. It seems you're quite upset. Is the stress of this production been getting to you? Yeah, a bit. Just a bit. I see. Well, we'd like to formally invite you to our strike. It's a good place for you to vent your frustrations without assaulting anyone. Uh, do they have lunch breaks longer than 15 minutes? Lunchtime is any time during a protest. Do you have slot machines? We have a deck of soggy playing cards and several people who would probably be willing to bet a few hundred dollars. If you're interested, head outside the gate and wait by the gate. We'll start our protest. I'll join too. Cause I'm tired of this costuming shit anyways. Uh, you okay? You're just staring blankly. Where, where did, where did the others go? Why is there blood on my knuckles? Oh god, not again! Oh, you forgot already? You agreed to join our protest! I, I did? Yes, yeah, so head outside and stop marching! Uh, Alright. All okay, I'm out. <sighs> Glad we somehow broke up that fight before they somehow bore each other. Bleh. Woof! We'll have to end it there, though. We still got some more crew, but hopefully we can strike this fucking progression because brush off. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck Prussia, the game. Amazing. Incredible. I love it. So that's it for us, so have a good day, everybody! Bye!